For this problem, we are told that a chemist weighs out 5.14 grams of a mixture containing unknown amounts of BAO and CAO, and they're placed in a 1.5 liter flask that contains carbon dioxide at 30 degrees Celsius and 750 Tor. After a reaction that forms uh, barium carbonate and calcium carbonate was completed, the pressure of the CO2 remaining in the flask is 230 Tor, and we're trying to calculate the mass percentages of calcium oxide and barium oxide in the mixture. So first off, what we want to do is we want to make sure we convert anything um, into our standards. So our temperature we need to convert into Kelvin, so 30 plus 273, which gives us a temperature of 303 Kelvin, oops, 303 Kelvin. We also want to convert our pressures by dividing by 760 in order to convert it into ATM. So our 750 Tor turns into 0 0.987 ATM. And our 230 Tor converts into 0 0.303 ATM. Okay, so now that we've got those converted, we can leave our volume in liters. Um, let's go ahead and first figure out how many moles of carbon dioxide we start off with and then how many moles uh, we have after the completion of the reaction. So to start us off, we're going to use PV equals NRT. Um, but we're going to solve for N, so N equals our pressure, so our initial pressure, 0 0.0987 times our volume, which is 1.5, divided by our gas constant, oops, 0 0.08206, times our temperature, which is 303 Kelvin. And we have that we initially started with 0 0.0595 moles of carbon dioxide. So that's our initial. Um, our, the number of moles remaining after our new pressure was 0 0.303. We still have the same volume of 1.5. Our gas constant is still the same, as is our temperature. Um, and we get that after the reaction, there's 0 0.0183 moles of CO2 remaining. So to figure out how many moles were used in the reaction, we're going to subtract the um, remaining moles from our initial moles. 0.0183, and we get that 0 0.0412 moles of CO2 were used in the reaction. Okay, next what we need to think about is um, how to convert the BAO and CAO into moles so that we can um, use the moles of carbon dioxide used in order to figure out the percentages of each. Um, so we know that there is both the barium oxide plus calcium oxide combined to produce five or to create 5.14 grams. So if we make barium X, and we can make calcium oxide 5.14 minus X, then we're able to go ahead and think about these in terms of molar masses, which will help us get closer to moles up here. So first we want to find out what is the molar mass for each one of these compounds. So for barium oxide, we're going to be adding barium. There's one which equals 137.328 grams per mole. Oxygen is 16 grams per mole. So barium oxide has a molar mass of 153.33 grams. And then calcium oxide, 
uh, calcium has a molar mass of 40.078 grams, and again, oxygen is 16 grams. So calcium oxide has a molar mass of 56.078 grams. So we can now take these two values and use it in here to get molar masses and make it equal to the, carbon, the moles of carbon dioxide used. So in this case, if barium is X, so it's X grams divided by 153.33 grams per mole plus 5.14 minus X grams divided by 56.078 grams per mole equals the 0 0.0412 grams of CO2 that was used. So when we simplify this, we're going to end up with 56.078x plus 788.11 minus 153.33x equals 354.26. And solving for x, we end up getting that x equals 4.46 grams. Now x was our BAO. So our BAO, we now know that BAO was 4.46 grams of the 5.14, which means that CAO is 5.14 minus 4.46, which equals 0 0.68 grams. So now that we know the the per, the makeup of the 5.14 we can find our percentages so 4.46 grams divided by 5.14 grams gives us 86.8% of the mixture was barium oxide and then 0 0.68 grams divided by 5.14 grams is 13.2% CAO.